Probably not. Uh, hey guys and girls. Uh, good morning. And my name is Eddie. And today I'm going to talk to you about why I created the Out app to make coming out as LGBT safer and more accessible. So uh, obviously, the LGBT rights movement has made a lot of progress in the last decade. Uh, but there is a group that continues to face hardship in their struggle for acceptance. Uh, it's the queer youth. Um, go ahead. Uh, and uh, so because of the, the increasing positive attitude towards LGBT folks, more young people are choosing to come out, and they're coming out at ever younger ages. As you can see, they used to come out at 21, now they come out at 16. Um, next one. And uh, unfortunately, uh, a lot of them come out without sufficient resources or a robust enough support network. So they end up on the streets, homeless, and exposed to issues like drug abuse and uh, food insecurity. Uh, actually, uh, while LGBT individuals only account for about 5% of the US population, uh, uh, out of the total US homeless youth, 40% identify as LGBT. So we're failing our uh, queer youth. Uh, so I looked into what uh, coming out resources are available today, and uh, I found huge rooms for improvement. Uh, uh, some of them remain in print, which means that they're too heavy to distribute and they're too static to be personalized. And then the most popular online coming out community uh, runs on a forum software from the early 2000s, so it lacks many basic features that we expect from <coughs> a social network in 2016. And then the most recent wave of apps that arrived with the surge of mobile, not a lot of them focus on serving queer youth. And the ones that do, they really just are Facebook clones that are rebranded for LGBT use. And so this is where our app comes in. I think we can really build a app that's designed from the ground up for making coming out safer and more accessible. Now I'll walk you through a demo. I got to go, go over there. If this is long enough. Um, so the app offers uh, activity modules users can go through. Actually, it's not playing. All right, now it's playing. So the app offers uh, activity modules users can go through to become more out in different ways. Um, for example, I apologize for the resolution. This example here, talk to parents about an LGBT film. It recommends users a list of films that people have found to be good com conversation starters. The user can select a film and then they can watch it right in the app. And some content will be free through partnerships with content supporters. Uh, so once after you're done watching the film, you can respond to film specific questionnaires to reflect on the film. And then you can also ponder how you're gonna initiate the conversation with your parents and write it down. And then you can also optionally opt in to notify a mentor that you're about to have this conversation. And if, you know, in case that you want someone to be there if the conversation doesn't end up very well. Uh, another module that I want to highlight is this one that lets users volunteer at LGBT nonprofits nearby. And again, you can pick a nonprofit, view what types of ships are available, select a ship, and pick a time to go into the volunteer. And when it comes time to volunteer, you actually see all of your information right in the app, so you don't risk exposure, you know, managing your browser history, managing your email, you know, and exchanges. Um, so once, once again, when you're done uh, volunteering, you can also put in how you felt about the volunteer as well as what recommendations you might have for the organization. And all this information becomes pressure records of your own coming out journey. And you can also view progress of your coming out, uh, view your activities based on like whether they engage with family or friends or if they take place, take place at work or at home, so you can view where your you know, strengths and weaknesses are, if you will. And once you complete activities, you can see them in the timeline. And uh, you can also like and comment on others' activities. And it means a lot to people who have you know, made that little tiny step forward if someone just noticed them and liked their activity. And if you see someone that might be at risk, you can also report in the app. And then we'll you know, review and then reach out ASAP. And users can find other users using filters such as uh, gender identity, sexual orientations. So those are the obvious ones. But actually religion and ethnicity, they actually have their key to shared coming out experiences. Uh, users can also create groups that are identity or interest or location based uh, to have conversations with other group members. Uh, and lastly, users have one, one tap access to lifelines, so you don't have to remember the 10 digit number when, when you most need it. Uh, you can also quickly access housing and health resources nearby. Uh, and this is where the app is. <laughs> Sorry for my speed. Um, but uh, 
So, so for next steps, um, I'm from Taiwan, so obviously I want to deploy the app there and eventually everywhere else. Uh, and then I want to work with researchers to, with the, the consent of the users, you know, do research around coming out. And I'm Eddie, uh, and uh, I'm looking for investors and marketers because I'm not a marketer. Um, but yeah, get in touch if you're interested. Thanks. Thank you. So do we have any questions for Eddie? Right there in the middle. You talked about um, basically having a mentor available if somebody wants to talk through it. Are you looking for volunteers? Yeah, yeah, eventually. But that all that infrastructure work will come much later. Um, but yeah, that's I arrived from this place because you know I feel frustrated. I've, I've gone through so much. I feel like I have something to give back to the community. Mm -hmm. But there's not an easy avenue for me to do that. Back in the uh, by the window. Uh, cheers to mentioning research, but I'm curious, what sort of research have you done? What sort of research questions are you trying to discover? So um, the, the question was, what research have you done, and what ha have you discovered? So I mostly research just trying to discover. Which re research are you trying to discover? So coming out is like people say that it's individual. That's true, but there are a lot of shared components. And I'm trying to identify the shared components across the world. So, you know, like as a Taiwanese immigrant in the US, the challenges that I face are, you know, that set of problems. And a lot of people can gain from my experience as opposed to going at it from scratch. So that, I don't know if that qualifies a research problem, but yeah, that's what I'm trying to solve. Are there questions over here? Uh, are you going to be, hi, Eddie. Are you going to be integrating with Facebook? Will you be integrating with Facebook? Not at the moment. If you can, uh, if, I don't know if you saw it, but there's no like real identity in the app, and that's really important. Uh, it would be like the first faceless LGBT app. Uh, yeah, so that's core to the design. Yeah. Another question? Michael. I have a question about like recruiting How do you protect people, uh, their privacy from being trolled? So there's going to be machine logic that uh, monitors that, and there are also manual controls. So actually, you can message other users, but the app limits it to uh, three person at a time in a room. So there is someone always monitoring, ideally. Um, but yeah, so, so there are machine and manual controls. Okay. 